Well, it seems there's an update in the Gen Con heist that took place. It seems Pastime Games are the ones that had all their Magic the Gathering product stolen from the event. Uh, this is allegedly $300,000 worth of Magic the Gathering product that was taken, mostly in Commander Masters product. Let's take a look at this because it seems the culprits or the suspects in the case are also game designers that have had a booth at Gen Con. That's right, the game once known as Castle Assault. This was back in, I believe it was 2017. The two people that designed the game actually had a Kickstarter and they had a booth at Gen Con. And it seems that they are the suspects in this case, or they're strongly suggested as the suspects in, in this case. It's a very strange situation, especially as it unfolds. Suspected thieves who stole $300,000 worth of the TCG cards might have worn their own card games merch during the Gen Con heist. These were people that are known, right? It's also very strange, but yet again, another game designer at Gen Con turns to be possibly bad and breaking the law. Uh, the IMPD, the Minneapolis police department uh official statement reads that the card thieves the people of interest reportedly acquired a pallet jack removed one pallet jack of gaming cards and moved them to an unknown location now that's not a pallet jack that's that's a cart full of cards i am guessing they took more than one one pallet jack at this point when i originally did this story i looked at the pallet that they had and it was a three by three by three which had approximately 27 cases and if it was commander masters products here in canada they're selling for about 600 dollars a box there's six boxes in a case so each case was worth 3600 dollars. that's about ninety-seven thousand dollars canadian that doesn't equal $300,000. So it would have had to have been multiple trips. You see the pallet in the, the what is a uh, cart here and in the pallet jack. So if you combine those together, you're still only looking at about $200,000 worth of product. That's a lot of product to walk out the door at Gen Con. And you know, I've had a few people reach out and say, listen, uh, security, this would have been something that was going on alongside of it. It was during the morning rush when all the vendors are bringing in the supplies so because they were there in the past this is why they are highly suspected uh in this case now the retailer confirmed that the stolen it was three hundred thousand dollar haul a looking gaming company confirmed that it was mostly commander master boosters and sets that were taken like i i Seriously, looking at this, we we see Commander Master sets set booster boxes are six hundred dollars a a box. That's not a lot when it comes down to it. The drop boxes are four fifty. The Commander sets, uh, the four decks together, is five hundred dollars. This is a very expensive product and not a product that I follow anymore. Um, I still find it hard to believe that they had that much inventory on the Gen Con floor for sale over the weekend. Do they really do, do companies really do this much volume at Gen Con? I, I find that hard to believe. I know Lorcana was big this year. Uh, there was a 16 hour lineups just to play Lorcana and get your hands on it and to test it out. And I, up here in Canada, the price of uh, Lorcana has gone through the roof. We're looking at about $400 a booster box of Lorcana, which is absolutely absurd, or $15 a booster pack for the you know, for the game. I'm hoping they print so much of it that it just tanks in value afterwards, and a lot of people that uh, shell out that money just, just get hosed on it because it's not worth it. It's not worth trying to get in a new game for that. But that aside, while well, rumors were with Lorcana, uh, fall, possibly fallen victim, they came out with a statement saying not. For pastime, Gen Con was a stressful but great uh, rector said he was feeling a mixed mixture of frustration about the missing product relief that they are still able to run tournaments and the usual fatigue if you have that much product there and then you can still run tournaments at gen con gen con's what three days like that's a lot of product to be shelling out and going through and then you're still able to do have uh be able to run tournaments i just find that unbelievable all your product goes missing 
and then you can still run tournaments? I don't know. I I, I find it hard to believe that there was three hundred thousand dollars worth of P M M Commander Masters product, nonetheless. Um, Richter also said that pastimes in the con uh, was in contact with Wizards of the Coast following the theft, considering what they've learned about how Wizards of the Coast has tracked down stolen products in the past. So they've contacted Wizards of the Coast, and they go, "Can uh, can you guys find your Pinkerton buddies?" and help us out and recover our stolen product. This is absurd. They're now reaching out to Wizards of the Coast for that, for to be that gangster company they are, to sit there and go and say, listen, I need your, your tough buddies to knock on these guys' door and recover our product. They need the Pinkertons to come out of retirement and say, listen, what you took is not yours, it's stolen property let us take it back. Let us recover it. That, that, that's pretty scary thought here, pastime. That, that's absolute absurdity. Let the police do their job. You know, if, the, if these guys actually did take the product, I'm pretty sure people know where they are considering they have the names of these guys. Uh, with Gizmodo, where is it? Uh, at Gen Con earlier this month, Pallet uh, disappeared, uh, and it was pastimes. Dunbar and Person Gawoom uh, were attending Gen Con 2023 and might be uh, might have been present to support their own card game, Castle Assault. In the photos taken from security footage, such as the one that appears above, a man that the police department has identified as a person of interest, assuming to be Dunbar, can be seen wearing a dark t-shirt of what looks like Castle Assault artwork and the logo on the back. Like, that, yeah, that is the Castle Assault picture. That, that definitely looks like it. Um, let's, let's throw this in a new tab and see if I can zoom in here a little bit more for everyone. Um, yeah. Oh, come on. Can you, can you zoom in? Uh, yes, sir. I believe I can. Zoom, zoom, zoom. That does look like Castle Assault. Now, where, where is this going? These guys could be bringing in product here because where, where are we? Where is this photo being taken? That looks like a corridor. You're going, I guess it's going into a parkade. So from a catwalk into a parkade, um, is this their vehicle sitting there? Are they just taking this in the, into their vehicle and then they're going to load it up? Are they bringing product into the venue? Uh, I, I can't tell from this. It, it's very strange that suddenly they've been able to identify these guys with this this game as well. So it's a it, it's an interesting situation with uh, with Gen Con. Um, we'll have to wait to see where this one really does lay out. The, here's the original ones. I guess that would be a Castle Assault t-shirt, the front side of the t-shirt. Um, definitely the same guys at this point. And they could be wearing their, their badges from when they've attended in the past. Like uh, a few people that uh, had mentioned to me, the these look like old, outdated Gen Con uh, lanyards that they were wearing, or or exhibitor uh, lanyards, and that's how they were able to get through security. If these guys really did step up and take all this product, I don't know why they wouldn't have already contacted the authorities here, uh, because they're going to get caught. Or is something else afoot here? Because I find this hard to believe that they've actually taken three hundred thousand uh, dollars worth of product, a hundred thousand dollars in Canadian funds, which is what seventy thousand dollars in American. That 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 makes more sense in my head. Uh, the fact that this is being claimed by the police that it's three hundred thousand dollars, I I find hard to believe. Like the amount of product you have to bring in. That would be three hundred thousand dollars worth of product into an event like this is uh, absurd. An uh, of unopened product, like that's just an absurd amount of product. You maybe will see that at like a Magic Con in, in for the entirety of it, or a, probably a little bit more, half a million dollars. Is that really how much Wizards of the Coast is bringing to these Magic Con events? Is half a million dollars? plus a product just to sit on the floor. Uh, it, you know, there is the vendors that go there, they do trade high value cards and those high value cards really do quickly add up, but I just don't see an open product at this price. So let's dig a little. Well, I found this video from, it's a review of the uh, Castle Assault. We have who looks like uh, Dunbar here in the video. This is from eight years ago and then, 
of course to the uh the pictures i've actually found a couple more pictures here for for our enjoyment to look at and see what's going on here this is the uh convention center where things took place with a, an actual date stamp to it this happened at 4 p.m on august 1st 2023 and then when we see them return with the empty cart this is six minutes later on the same day is this one and the same is this the same person i don't know that hairline looks pretty close you know a couple other pictures here um i i'm not entirely sure if they knew what they were really getting themselves into but it looks like they they really did get themselves into quite a mess here of what's going on Ah, uh, you know, it's really hard to say that this didn't happen. That looks like a parkade. They obviously did take product into a parkade. Was it $300,000 worth? We'll have to wait to see to find out the exact total. Um, but that's what's been reported to the police. And at the same time, if there was a pallet and this cart and they came back for multiple runs... Then, yeah, I can see there being that much, but it's still at the same time, a vendor having that much product at Gen Con and still be able to run their events for the weekend without issue, the, that, that, that's a little bit of shaky ground unless he, they pulled some strings. I've seen this happen at a pre-release week before where one gets shorted and another one has a lot, so they're, they pull strings to be able to fill the orders so just a little different perspective here of the look i hope you guys didn't mind this one i it's been a few days since i've been able to make a video and you know i i'm between everything right now i'm doing this after work so it's it's a little bit tougher for me to get videos out hopefully soon i can get back to a regular schedule um but i am still quite exhausted from frag of Lusa. if you guys missed that all the live streams are up on the channel. Do go check out those live streams because there is some of them upwards to six hours, eight hours long of absolute fun and enjoyment. We had a lot of fun. And you know what? You got to go digging and find out what the Council of Bears means to you. Until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm your Pride Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow signing off here.